Hey guys, welcome to Pickleball Pirate. We're headed down to Clear One in Orlando, Florida, and I'm pretty pumped up. We got Henry Wonato playing, Tony Giannani, the Mark Johnston, Jaime Onsens, Eric Onsens, the Badger. What a match, guys. What a match. So, Jaime Onsens is serving. Mark Johnson just returned. Eric Onsens is his son. He's in blue. And we all know the Badger. There's no need to introduce the Badger. We're just lucky to have him. So, the Badger's serving. It's 0-1-1. Mark Johnston, I call him the Dink Master Flex. <laughs> he is such a good dinker, he really doesn't miss. And that's why he's an extremely good tournament player. So guys, if you're trying to get better at dinking, watch this match. And I can't wait to tell you a little bit about Jaime Antis. Because he's pretty incredible. He was 27 in the world in tennis. Like in the professional tennis. He beat Ivan Lendo at the French Open. He is like the nicest guy ever. I met him at Pear Park in Leesburg. And he's just super approachable. Super nice. And he, he's like, like, if I was that good at stuff, I would be the most condescending, <laughs> unapproachable person ever. And he isn't. He's just amazing. His son Eric is Go in, I believe it's Florida Atlantic on a full scholarship, tennis scholarship. And um, they had traveled and won a, a ton of tournaments in pickleball. I know they took a year off prior to play tennis, but um, just super nice people. And, you know, usually I say nice stuff on this program, and I don't mean it, but I really mean this. And that's a great shot. So we have Jaime Onsen serving. And I believe it's 4 0 1, guys. And a little bit about Mark Johnston. He's in red. He's incredible. Just, he's improved so much. He's taken a lot of lessons from Tony Giannani. And guys, if you're ever in the Orlando area, just Google Clear One. And um, you'll get better if you take lessons from Tony. But um, he's had awesome results. They ended up losing to Brian Staub. And when I say they, he played with Gary Galt. And they beat a number of professional teams. And they ended up losing to Brian Staub and Jaime Onsens. And Brian Staub, if, who, if you guys aren't familiar with him, he's won a number of national championships in pickleball. And obviously Jaime Onsens is just incredible at everything even being like super nice. <laughs> so we have the Badger Servant. And I believe it's zero, five, one. And look at Mark Johnston, guys. He just, like, if, if you're just the average Joe on the street watching him, you wouldn't think he's like amazing. But he's amazing. He plays within himself. He hits the right shot. He doesn't miss a dink. And he makes, you know, that's what you have to do to be a good tournament pickleball player. He's at the net. And guys, that was Mark's ball. He had the forehand. He did get pulled off the court, so the Badger could have stepped in. So it is. Five zero one. And I've watched Eric play tennis. He has a sick one handed backhand. Really good player. <laughs> like you guys care. But um I'm a big tennis player too, so I'm jealous. And guys, that was beautiful. Changing the pace up in pickleball is so important. Nice drop behind me. And 
And guys, look at Mark's Dinkin technique. Obviously, um, I mean, this is great too, but um, just incredible. Look at those reflex. And he apologizes. What a good guy. <laughs> I believe it's 6-0-2. That's the Eric Tennis backhand. Very nice, Eric. So I believe it's 0 6 one Don't you love when you're down? You don't call the score? It's like a whisper under your breath. <laughs> and when you're up, it's like 6-0-1. And the Badger and Mark know if they speed it up, it better be a good shot. Because the reflexes on Eric and Jaime are incredible. So if I was Eric there, I wouldn't have said they screwed up, and I would have served. So he has more integrity than I do. And that's not saying much, Eric. <laughs> that's a beautiful drop by Eric. Very nice thinking technique. He let that sit up a little too much, and the Badger's a 5-0. He's going to take advantage of that. So, guys, I went back, and um, it sounded like he said 3-0-2. So, I may have screwed up. And guys, if you watch them dink, they're not moving their feet that much at all. So, um, I know I'm watching my videotapes of myself, and I have way too many small steps. Footwork is so important in dinking. There's the tennis coming out, and Eric, great shot. Yeah, it's 3-0-1, so I made a mistake. I apologize, and that's all I can do. It's four zero one. Four zero two. So guys, I just googled Eric Onsen's and I was wrong again. He's going to Florida Gulf Coast University. So I don't know guys, I'm struggling. And Mark sat that one up. You can't do that against the Ansons. It's 4 0 1. Look at those reflexes. And a very good eye. So it's 5 0 1. And guys. Someone told, just told me this, but if you're in a good dinking stance, 
and they hit it hard and the ball is above your shoulder, don't hit it. It's going out. So I know I hit a lot of out balls, but as a rule of thumb, if it's going above your shoulder and they hit it hard, let it go. Do not pass go. <laughs> Do not collect $200. And Mark, in, in uh, red or pink, he's an extremely good dinker, so he doesn't want to quicken the pace against these people, he's, and he knows it, so he, he just wants a dink in war. Look, he's not going to speed it up much, he's a very cerebral player, and I think I said cerebral right, good use of the word, good job Joe. So it's six zero one. Just missed. Very nice move by Eric. It's six zero two. Six zero two. Replay the point. Just beautiful. And guys, the Badger and Mark just kept going at the feet of um, the Onsens. So they didn't go for the outright winner. They hit with patient. They hit about five balls at the feet, and then they got a kill. And it's zero six one, and it's zero six two. That was a very nice shot by the Badger. He had a nice dink. Eric got out of position. And then a good use of the middle by the Badger. That middle's open a lot, guys. Especially in rec play. Not as much against the Anthony. And it's 1-6. That's such good sports. So that was really close. The Badger really thought it might hit a hit the might have hit the line. It's two six. But um he has the Onsens and um they're just such a good group of guys. Like good family. They'd say it was out. No no yelling, no arguments. <laughs> Three six. <laughs> like I'll say it again. They have more integrity. And I do. And that's not saying much. <sighs> Guys, another thing. If you're playing people with superior reflexes. If you watch David. David has a good drive. But he's not driving it much. He's just dropping it. He's getting to the kitchen. So it's three six two. And it's six three one. Timmy Onsens, he coaches for Mount Bird Academy, the tennis academy. Obviously in Mount Bird. You know, I'm smart enough to know that, I would think. <laughs> and it's 6-3-2. This is just a dinking clinic. I should title this Dinking Clinic by the Hansons. And that was a beautiful shot by the Badger. You got to pick and choose. You got a high shot. 
and he went really high at Jaime's um, shoulder. Look at the footwork. And now the Badgers start into play. So now we have a game. So we have 4 6. And Mark Yushi doesn't miss that. It's 4 6 2. And it's 6 4. 7 4. Mark Johnson plays with the Onyx Premier Pro. The Badger plays with the Gear Gearbox GX5. I believe it's a 7.8 ounce. The Onsens, don't quote me on this, but I believe that is a Selkirk Invicta. And I am pretty sure, but I'm sure it, I'll get yelled at for something. So. Mark could have had a round the post, but that would have been a tough shot. That's a beautiful play by Mark. Beautiful. And if you watch him in tournaments, he's just unfazed. He thinks all day. I believe it's 4-8, guys. And the Onsens are smart. They're really making Mark move. They're dropping him a lot. it's 9-4. Well, it's 10-4, guys. I apologize. 10-4. Just a high-quality match. And guys, if you have patience in a tournament, you're going to do really well. You know, if you could dink, have patience, no one to speed it up, no one to slow it down, no one to hold them, no one to fold them. That was a heck of a shot by the Badger, so it's 10-4-2. Hey guys, that's a game. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe. Just subscribe. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.